telling you. I'm telling you right now. There's mud out here. There's mud out here. Somewhere. Maybe not right here. Maybe it's more that direction. It's it, it's somewhere out here. I promise you. I promise you. And yes, yes, I am I am going out exploring just like everybody else right now, looking for all the pretty new things. Now, of course, I think everybody else is going in different directions, but we're just going over here past the mining desert because, well, we built a giant tunnel leading out there. There's mud around here somewhere. I know it. I can feel it. I can see it. I can see it, ladies and gentlemen and people of the universe. I can see. Well, that, that's not, is that, is that the mud? No, I, mm. Hold on, hold on. Yep, it looks like nasty, dirty water. That's that's it. If we, if we if we pick it up, our inventory says that it is officially mud. So, yep. Hello, anyone, everyone, and no one. My name is Slack Lizard, and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock. And today we are in the mud update. Wait, that's that's actually not the name of it, is it? No, the the the, the name of the update is the Wild Update, and. While I am wildly confused, excuse me, where did I, huh? Where did one get moss carpet? This is, is, is moss carpet spawn on top of these things. That is very interesting, right? Am I just that's is this not the tool? Okay, what is the tool for the roots? <gasps> New wood. New wood. You know, I swear, I, I've been anti-update for a while. I have been anti-update, just no interest whatsoever in this update, and now today. I log on and I'm just like, I need the new things. I, I need, the, and this is painful. Do we have a tool for this? Hold on, because we really, really need a tool for this. Um, let's grab our toolbox here. Do we have, oh dear God, everything is like broke. All right, if I grab you, are you, the, you're not the tool for this. Um, are you the tool for this? No. What about you? No. Do we not have a tool for this? Oh, this will be painful. Come on. All right, hold on. <laughs> this is this this is hurting me. This is hurting me. Is it shears? No. Do we legitimately have no tool for the new thing? I mean, we look. We can we can get the leaves. That 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 that's a given. We can get the mud with the shovel, right? Oh, look at that. I like that sound too. I don't know why. It's just like a tappy tap tap. Just a little tappy tap. -tap. I, I really like that. I am really saddened that we don't have, uh, do, do we not have a tool for this? Oh, this is, this, what's that? <gasps> it's a frog, it's a frog. Oh my God, it's a frog. It's, it's a frog. I'm excited and I don't know why. I, I'm so excited. I, I, I want you to be my friend, but you're too far away from everything. You're, you're too far away from everything. Where's... Ah, oh, oh, there's there's many new things that I want. There's a frog! I want you. Will you be my friend? Ah, oh, I need I need, I need need this in my life. I, I need all this stuff in my life, and I didn't even know it. Where'd my ender chest go? Where, where's my box? Where's my box of stuff? <gasps> there it is. Okay. All right. So, to begin, <laughs> this really saddens me. Th this really saddens me. And if there's a way to get that stuff quicker, I need to know because that really hurts. Now, these things here, these, 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 I've, I've, I've read about these. These are the new saplings, right? Mangrove proper what? Don't look at me to say that word. That is just not happening. Okay, today, there, God, there's so many things that I want to explore and mess with in this update now. I, I, I want to go suddenly, you know, fight the warden. I want to gather up all these things. I want frogs. I want a laze. Right, let's let's get some mud. And one, two, three, four, five, and a box of randomness, and a whole bunch of broken tools. Apparently, we didn't repair them from the other day when we were gathering up dirt. Another update for everybody here is... Well, this is the tunnel that leads out to the mining mesa and desert. As a matter of fact, that's the portal right there. And during some streams and just downtime, as you can see here, I've now got this thing all the way situated out. Of course, we still need to set up the portal at the very end of it down there. And we got some minor detail work that needs to be done here on these cross members. Because if we fly all the way up to right here where our guardian farm is, 
at the cross members we need to put in some stairs we need to put in some iron bars and we need to put in some iron trap doors to just add a little bit of breakup but i'm happy with it and but i'm not hitting the rtx button because the rtx button and me are having issues here lately so that's now in and of course we still need to put the doors in for external access out there but i think that's only going to be a thing through here because pretty much that whole tunnel was a solid except for a few areas that we blasted out just to show some exterior nether right 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 now that we've got everything repaired and we now have some mud we need to potentially make another farm because i'm pretty sure if i come over here and i grab some of this mud and we grab a crafting table that is not where it should be so let's let's knock that out there Put that there, put that there, put that there. We'll put a crafting table back there. Excuse me, can I have my under chest, please? And that there. I'm pretty sure. Get out of here, barrels. We're not searching for barrels at the moment. Muddy mangrove root. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Packed mud. That looks hideous. That looks hideous for a block. That does bleh, bleh, Packed mud. Hmm. But it is a one-to-one -one ratio on it. Now, what I'm interested in myself is that mud bricks okay so we need god that's expensive and then we turn that into mud bricks what does that look like oh it makes the horrible sound i wasn't expecting that with that but it is an interesting block it is an interesting block and what wow can i not okay so when it turns into bricks it becomes something that you break with a pick then that kind of makes sense kind of makes sense but in order to do that then Wow, is that seriously the only way? And it's a one-to-one -one on wheat. It is a one-to-one -one on wheat. We need a nano farm. Uh, well, don't, 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 don't give me the look, okay? I need, I need a nano farm. That, that, that's what I need. I need a nano farm. And I need a quick nano farm so that I can get a lot of wheat so that we can make packed mud. I mean, haven't you been watching the episode at all? Look, I need, I need to make mud bricks, okay? But to make mud bricks, okay? In case you weren't paying attention, I need to make packed mud, which means I need wheat and which means I need mud. I got the mud. I got all kinds of mud, okay? But I don't have the wheat. So in order to get the wheat, we need a nano farm. Or you need a giant wheat field, and I'm not dealing with a giant wheat field. So we're, we're going to go primitive, right? We're going to go real primitive. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put down dirt, right? Right, right? That, yeah, dirt sounds good. Yep, dirt. And then we're gonna we're gonna put down more dirt, which is probably a bad idea. And then we're gonna need a water bucket because we need our soil here. Soil? That's not soil. Shut up. There. All right. So now we can plant our crops right there. Right. Right. Okay. So we're getting somewhere, except for the fact that we're not getting anywhere because I'm. I don't want to build out of mud. Okay. Give, give me the stone. Give me the stone. So let's put that there and let's put that there. Now I need a lot of dispensers. It's, it's perfectly fine. I understand. I've done this before. We'll put that there and we'll put that one there. Okay, so we got our three dispensers. So we need three dispensers to do bone meal. And then we need the fourth one to do a water bucket so that it breaks the crop. This is not going to go over well for me. I just have a feeling. Now put you there. That will work remarkably well. And then let's put, where's that stone? Let's grab that and let's put that there, there. And we're not worried about pretty, right? We're, we're worried about function, not pretty. Because if we're worried about function and not pretty, I think I know what I'm doing here. What do you mean you're worried about both at this point? Everything will be fine. Everything will be perfectly fine. Look, we're going to put this one as our water bucket, okay? So as our water bucket one, that one needs to fire off twice. These three need to fire off once. That one needs to fire off twice, right? Right, because it needs to put the water out, pick the water back up. There's a way we can do this. We can do this with an observer, right? We put that observer there. Whenever it detects something over here, it'll go twice to those going once, right? But that didn't sound like a very secure right. That, that sounded like you were questioning me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to go primitive. Uh, so primitive that we're running out of blocks. Right. Let's get some blocks. Hold on. Oh, look. What do you know? The stone box is right there. Convenient. Okay, so we'll put that there. No dogs. This is not the time. 
I know redstone's usually compact, okay, but just just deal with it. It'll be fine. Okay, let's grab the lever. Let's grab that. If we were to put that there, that's not going to work, is it? Nope, that's in the way now. Excuse me, I need you all to... Oh, yeah, because you can't pick block something that has a data value to it because that would just make too much sense. Okay, we'll put that there, okay? Then we'll put these here. Does that need to be in subtract? I always forget if that needs to be in subtract mode or not. We'll put that there and we'll do that. So now we got a fancy clock. Okay, yeah, it needs to be in subtract mode. Okay, so now we got a fancy clock. And our fancy clock at this point can come over here and go there. So that's those three technically firing off. I know you can't hear it because we got the we got the silent things. Now from here. Well, this fire, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on delay, aren't I? I really think, because that's not going to work right. Everything's firing at the same time, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if everything's firing at the same time. Pretty sure we're going to have to put that repeater on the delay. You can have bone mail there. You can have bone mail there. The bog, dogs can keep barking on the other side of the house. We'll put this here, and we'll go. No way. D what? Did I get that first time? If, if you're curious, we put a stack of bone mill into each of these, which, and we netted one stack of wheat. So oddly enough, that was dead on perfect. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked at that too. Just, just, just putting that out there. Gen genuinely shocked that that was dead on perfect. That I didn't expect that to go that smoothly. I just want to add, I just want to add that using the nano farm to get this is painful. It's painful. This is painful. I love it. It's great. I'm glad we can have it. But I was not prepared for this. This is this is painful. It is very, very painful. But we now have a little bit of wheat, which makes me go into question on what we were going to do with this today. Because I, I, there's a dog sleeping and dreaming on the other side of the house, as you can probably hear from that. I thought we would set up a shop selling packed mud. And honestly, at this point, I don't know if that's exactly what I want to do. I kind of want to go build a little bit with it and I kind of want to sell some of it, but I have a feeling that, that my prices are going to be like extortion because this stuff is not cheap to make. I guess we could build a villager powered farm to get us all the wheat that we would need in the future. But as of right now, this being the only way to get it, it is very time consuming. I think we're going to sell some regular mud though. I, I definitely think we're going to sell some regular mud for a reasonable price of maybe like three stacks per diamond. But the packed mud, if we're going to sell any of that, it is going to be a full diamond per stack. You can call me greedy if you want, but it is what it is. It's, it's, it's very, very time consuming. And I don't even know if people are going to like it yet. I don't even know if I'm going to like it yet. I've actually done no playing with this stuff yet whatsoever. So let's get this crafted up. And I'm trying to decide where I want to do a shop. And honestly, I'm thinking that if we're going to build something, we're going to build it over there in the... The the, the 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 humble dirt district okay we're, we're gonna build it over there with the rest of the dirt builds over there and then we'll sell it from over there as well so let's get this crafted up let's get one maybe two of these shulkers into packed mud that we can sell we'll leave the regular mud as is we'll sell that at a bulk three for one ratio yeah that, that sounds good I won't lie to you all. I'm having way too much fun over here. Way too much fun over here. If we dip back down here to the bottom now and take a look, I've added a couple more houses here. As you can see, we got the first one up there. And of course, I added in another little two down here. Now, I'm not feeling no interiors at this moment in time, so don't even look at me for that. If anything, we'll make it like blackout curtains and hang over the front of these, aka banners to make it look like there's curtain on the inside. And then, of course, this little thing here. Of course, we need some doors on these things, and we need some glass. But I was just sitting here looking. And when I land up here on the Enderman, which I don't know whose this is, but love it. It's great. And that's awesome. We, we need to include in some glass to help break that area up. But looking at these here, there's such a wide variety. I, I don't even know what to do with it. We got the nice square houses here. We got an overkill house there. We got mine, which are random, I guess, as random could be at this. And then we got this up on the hill. 
I, I want to squeeze in a couple square ones somewhere. I feel like there needs to be a couple more of these. Maybe one like right there, over there where we're looking. I feel like we need a little bit of a water feature down here. Maybe we'll knock this out and fill this in with water here. And maybe we'll also carry this path around and put another one there. I don't want to get too close to Jesse's there, but at the same time, I want to nudge over that way just a little bit more. And I think it would carry. Matter of fact, I wish I had a cheaty zoom button right now. I don't know where my spyglass has went to. But I think that's what we need to do. So let's find some glass. Let's get a square house in. And let's try to move that over just a little bit more. You know, Tiz is doing a great job over here. He's doing a great job. And of course, we've got the water added in here now. And of course, I've been sitting here looking around at this area. And it's missing something. You know, nothing quite screams humble like ancient debris. I mean, look at this. This right here is the epitome of trees. Why, oh why, are we growing natural trees over here when we could be doing ancient debris trees? This just, this just makes so much more sense. So much more sense. I mean, let's take a look at that. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's take that out of the equation there. And let's also grab. Ah, yeah, there we go. Add some nice lighting to the area up here so that it can be seen at night. Let's take a look at that from down here. Let's see if that looks just a little bit better. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Why? Why are you made out of oak? That's just, just, just shameful. Right. Look, no, no oak trees. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. We'll build our own trees. You see this right here, people, this, this is exactly why we deforested everything over there. This right here. I mean, if you're going to chop down the trees, at least get the leaves. Okay. Chop the trees, get the leaf. Hmm. You know what? Thinking about it over there. You know what we need? We need a headquarters. We need a headquarters over there at the Humble Hills. A Dirt Dynasty headquarters. Now that's a humble ideal. this a little bit of that and then ow not 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 burning the lizard okay really does that not do i got huh hello okay well apparently i need to modify that just a little bit excuse me let me just pillar up here and let's grab that let's pick that block back up um yeah that'll work all right so we just knocked this back out of the equation here and we'll put that right there. Good, good. 
And that should, in turn, Al, get us on fire once again, because staying in a state of unfire just seems to be our current situation in life. Do I knock out all this? I, um, it feels like something's missing on the edge, and I'm hoping this is what it is. So if we just kind of put these diamonds in here like so, just to hold up the campfires here, and of course the middle needs some kind of support in it. That should in turn grab that no no need to waste diamond blocks come here let's grab that come on come come here thank you very much let's grab this and then as i said there's no need to raise diamond blocks raced raced words are difficult people words are difficult if uh, please let me land over here wow lag is difficult today is what is really difficult and i like it I like it. We got the Dirt Dynasty headquarters up and running. One thing I don't like about this, though, one thing that I absolutely do not like about this, though, is the fact that beacon beams do not render from far away. You literally have to be right up on them for them to render. Maybe we could get some more beacons, and we could put a beacon in each corner. I mean, one, two, three. Technically, we could... I don't know. That might be taking it a step too far. Now, of course, as far as the entrance to this place goes, it's just, I don't know, blended in with the rest of the terrain here. We got a few mud bricks leading up to the path, leading up into here. And of course, at this point, there's nothing really in here. We'll potentially get a full headquarters set up in here in due time. Of course, we added in a few more ancient debris trees as well. And I just feel like we need some more. I feel like we need some more, and I think we're about to get some more. And how exactly are we going to do that? Well, I went and cleared Tiz out on sand. And of course, we've got all these shulker boxes here of gunpowder, which means it's time to do some TNT mining in the nether. But that is going to have to be in the next episode, because this episode right here is now officially done. If you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure to drop a like down below. If you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. But on that note, that's what we're going to call this one. And I will see all of you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.